so we assalamu alaikum students we will begin in in a minute or two 5 minutes uh, is the joining time so as i told you earlier there will be four chemistry classes a week right in which we will try to cover a main topic and several other topics you will be given assignment in the end you can ask question or it, it is very important that, that you not down you jot down the pointers important points right it will help you in the future so today we are going to start lecture number 2 okay so how what will we do today we will go through revision brief revision then we we'll, again we we'll continue some basic definitions and in the end you can ask questions or can give you feedback right so what we did yesterday what we did yesterday we went through the definitions of chemistry the study of matter right what the matter is matter is anything which has mass and occupies a space we have also discussed what are the common states of matter solid liquid gas plasma right then we have also seen that the uh, each and every kind of matter is composed of what the atoms and we also know that there are many many particles of uh, atom there are many particles in which the prominent ones are the fundamentals are electron proton and neutron besides these many other particles are there like positron as i told you yesterday neutron neutrino anti neutrino mesons freon hyperons blah 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 so on number of particles are there broadly speaking how many parts an atom has just two parts nucleus and extra nuclear region all the particles except electron they live they reside where in the nucleus they live in the nucleus whatever be the kind of the particle is all the particles live in the nucleus except electrons where can we find electrons they revolve around the nucleus in various shells right you know it okay okay let's continue what are we doing what are we doing we are studying the defi basic definitions right we are studying the basic definitions and uh, of chemistry what the atom is uh, fundamental parts of an atom electron proton neutron now we are studying about the uh, few characteristics of these fundamental particles electron so is the part of an atom which revolves around the nucleus it carries a force we call that force negative charge right so what is the sentence here electrons are negatively charged what does it mean it means electron is possessing a kind of force that scientists call that force a negative force otherwise there is no minus plus related with a uh, mathematical minus plus related with electron it is just to mention a, a kind of force right so these are negatively charged we can found electron we can find electron around the nucleus revolving in different shells as you can see afterwards there are so many particles fundamental particles the lightest one is so what have we done just now electrons characteristics right electrons negatively charged revolves around the nucleus lightest fundamental particles means electron among electron proton and neutron electron is the lightest one what is the purpose what is the use of electrons all chemical reactions are just because of electrons means electrons are responsible for chemical reactions right and its mass is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg as you can see on the screen also and what is the value of its charge charge means its power is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs okay negatively charged revolves around the nucleus lightest fundamental particle mass is 
9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. And it is responsible for the chemical reactions. Okay, now proceed to the next. Proton. Proton, where can we find proton? As I told you, proton are present in the nucleus of an atom, right? And it is much, much heavier than a single electron. 1836 times heavier than an electron. And its mass is 1.672 into 10 to the power minus 30, minus 37 kg. And it has the power, it has a charge. But the nature of the charge is totally opposite to that of electron. That is why scientists just uh, uh, call it positive. So if someone asks you, what is the charge on a proton? Positive. What is the charge on an electron? Negative. Right? I repeat, proton is positively charged, lives inside the nucleus. Right? Responsible for nuclear reactions. Its mass is 1.672 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg, and its charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Means electron and proton have same charge, right? Let me admit the lead comers. And finally, the neutron. No power, no attractive power, no charge at all. That is why we call it, it's a neutral particle. It's a neutral particle. It is the heaviest, means among electron, proton, neutron, neutron is the heaviest. We can also find neutron in the same nucleus, right? It is 1837 times heavier than a neutron, uh, than an electron. It is again used in uh, nuclear reactions. You must have heard atomic bomb, proton neutrons, they are used in nuclear reactions. Let me admit the late comers. So if I summarize what we did up till now, atom, the fundamental particle, the building block comprises of few Fundamental particles, electron, proton, neutron, electrons negative, proton positive, neutron no charge, electron lightest, neutron heaviest, they have charges, neutron has no charge, electron revolves around the nucleus, proton, neutron lives inside the nucleus, right? Just note down the question if you have, we'll ask, we'll see in the end. Now let's proceed further. Atomic number, most important thing. Before we proceed, let me give you an example. In any school, a student has GR number, roll number. That roll number gives some information. If the roll number changes, name of the string changes, information changes. Same is true in case of atoms. If an atom has one proton, its characteristic will be different. If an atom has two protons, its characteristic changes. Two protons change. They are given names accordingly. Right? If we have one proton, we call it hydrogen. If an atom has two protons, we call it helium. Three protons, lithium. Four, beryllium. Five, boron. Six, carbon. Seven, nitrogen. Eight, oxygen. Nine, fluorine. Ten, neon. As the number of proton changes, name, characteristic, properties changes. So that is why number of protons has been given a specialty. A number, atomic number. So what do you mean by atomic number? Atomic number means number of protons present in the nucleus.
right please be on time it creates problem it creates disturbance so i am repeating protons number of protons very important it gives you the characteristic its number gives you the characteristic properties to an atom number of proton changes the name of the atom changes one proton hydrogen two protons helium and so on that is why you can see on the screen what is that screen the number of proton present in the nucleus of an atom is called atomic number or charge number okay so atoms fundamental particles of atom and we went through what the atomic number now the next is substances all the substances can be divided into two categories either pure or impure either pure or impure if it is impure we call it mixture if it is impure we call it mixture if it is pure then there are two possibilities what are those two possibilities either it contains only one kind of atoms different kind of atoms suppose it's a piece of silver in this piece of silver all the atoms are alike all the atoms have same atomic number all the atoms have same properties all the atoms have same characteristics on the atoms same kind of atoms are present we call it element we call an element so if a pure substance has only one kind of atoms we call it element what do you think is water an element correct water is not an element because it contains two different kinds of atoms two different kind of elements hydrogen and oxygen so what do we call such type we call them compounds we call them compounds i repeat for the late comers all the substances can be divided into two groups either pure or impure if it is impure like soil is impure alkene we call it mixture like air mixture right blood mixture or it could be pure all of these things we will study in detail afterwards this is just a brief revision relating with the your uh, previous studies that you already know in grade Nine, uh, sorry, grade eight and seven. You know that elements, compounds, and mixture. You have studied. Okay. So pure substances are of two kinds: elements and compounds. Elements contain only one kind of element, like gold, like silver, like aluminium. Compound contains different kinds of atoms, which are bonded, which are uh, joined together differently by bonding. Okay. so this is the division of substances right so how can we define element it is something in which all the atoms are alike i thought the gear ke liye apna video all the atoms have same atomic number in which all the atoms have same characteristics like the piece of gold like the piece of silver like the piece of carbon like the piece of aluminum all of these contain only one kind of atom which called such substances element right you can see the definition on the screen that's it okay unmuted okay symbols nickname of an element the short hand abbreviation of 
the chemical name of an element hydrogen hydrogen h y d r o g e n we simply write it with h so h is called the symbol of hydrogen oxygen o is the symbol nitrogen n is the symbol so what are the three different ways in the first column you can see on the screen that we choose the first letter for the symbols of element as you can see on the screen h for hydrogen c for carbon s for sulfur o for oxygen n for nitrogen f for fluorine and so on this is one way in the first way we choose the first letter of the chemical name of an element clear now let's suppose we have different elements like suppose uh, we have magnesium like suppose we have manganese or we have molybdenum all of these are starting with m so if we choose the first word m it will create confusion so what is the second way of assigning symbols not only use the first letter but also you write another one so what is the symbol of magnesium mg manganese mn molybdenum mb so what is the next rule that beside first letter another letter could be used as you can see on the screen also the chlorine cobalt chromium calcium or calcium cesium all are starting with c so to avoid confusion we write the second or third letter chlorine cl cobalt co chromium cr calcium ca cesium cs okay first way choose the first letter second way of assigning symbols choose the first letter plus second or third letter clear third way okay iron what is the symbol of iron the symbol of iron is fe why there is no f there is no e in iron it means there is something different why because fe is chosen from its latin or greek name latin name ferrum so iron its symbol is fe why because its actual name is taken from latin or greek so fe ferrum next is sodium i think most of you know the symbol of sodium is na why because the actual name of sodium is natrium right potassium k why kalium silver ag why because its actual name is argentum that is why we write ag and w for tungsten because its name is wolfram hg hydrogyrum it is for mercury which is used in thermometers is you in, in thermometer wait for a minute okay let's proceed further initially dalton's used different kinds of symbols not alphabetical symbol uh, cross means none of your business just for info all the elements are arranged in a table that we call it what the periodic table different kinds of periodic tables are there so what is periodic table it's an arrangement of elements it shows arrangement of elements all the elements how many elements in all 118 elements in all 
each and every thing of universe is made up of such kind of elements we have discovered and prepared up till now 118 out of 118 we'll study afterwards in detail 92 are natural the rest are prepared in the lab by man we call this table element uh, periodic table You remember molecule, molecule, when an atom combines with another atom, molecule is formed. So what is molecule? Molecule means, what is molecule? Combination of atoms, two or more atoms, like oxygen, O2, it could be same or different. Like an atom of hydrogen combines with an atom of hydrogen to form a molecule of hydrogen. Like an atom of oxygen combines with another atom of oxygen to form a molecule of oxygen. Or it could be ozone. Right? Same. It could be different. Like Hydrogen plus oxygen can combine to form water. So this is molecule, this is molecule, this is molecule. What is the difference? Only one kind of atom, we call them homonuclear. This is called heteronuclear. Hetero means comprises of different kind of atoms. Heteronuclear. Homo means comprises of same kind of, both of, all of these are molecules. Then what is the difference? Same kind of atoms. That is why it is called homonuclear. This is called heteronuclear, carbon dioxide, heteronuclear, sulfuric acid, heteronuclear, ozone. What do you call it? Homo or hetero? Correct. It's homonuclear. P4, phosphorus, homonuclear. S8, homonuclear. So the So homoatomic molecules comprises of same and heteroatomic molecule comprises of different kinds of atoms. Right? Note down the questions if you have any. Told you about mixture. Now there are two kinds of mixture in which we can differentiate. Think T. It's a mixture. It contains milk, water, sugar. Right? But we cannot differentiate all of these things. Such, such uh, mixture are called homogeneous mixture. Like the... Whereas sand in water is called hetero because we can differentiate where the sand is and where the water is. Blood is homogeneous. Air is homogeneous mixture. Right? So there are two kinds of mixture, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Remember, sir, how many minutes are left, sir? Do you have any idea? Just tell me how many minutes are left. How many minutes are left? Five, five. There are two types of changes, permanent changes and permanent changes and temporary changes. Conversion of milk into curd, chemical, permanent. Burning of paper, permanent. Okay? We are growing from a little kid to bigger one, permanent change. These are called chemical changes. Can't be reversed back by ordinary methods. On the other hand, physical changes, temporary changes. These are, not, these are not actually the reactions, but just the state changes. For example, if you cool down water, it will convert into solid. So what is the change here? Liquid changes into solid. If you heat water, it will convert into gas. 
state changes. So these are called state changes, physical changes, right? And these are temporary changes. Next class, it would be the first regular topic of your textbook, different periods of chemistry de development. Means we'll, uh, from on Friday, we'll start the first topic of your book. A few things, all of these things are available as you can see here on the screen, email, my email addresses you can see. You can see today's recording of the lecture on YouTube channel. The name of the channel is Chemistry, uh, Chemist Majid Siddiqui, right? And one more thing, I would like that all of you should be together in a single class so that I can give you assignment and collect those assignments there. That, that's why you should uh, make Gmail addresses so that I can include in your, uh, in Google Classroom, correct? After five seconds, I will change the slide. That's it. YouTube channel. Okay, until, until the time is over. Feedback assignment. Just take a picture shot. Try to do it 